Hi everyone, uh, this is Graspberry and today we're going to solve the, the first problem from the project Euler. So the first problem is multiples of 3 and 5. So the problem says, if we list all the natural numbers below 10 there are multiples of 3 or 5. We get 3, 5, 6 and 9 and the sum of these multiples is 23. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1000. So, we're going to solve that problem using C++. So the first thing that we do, let's create a variable integer and we'll call it number. And because we have to find all the multiples of 3 and 5 below 1000, we're going to initialize the number to 1000. So, to solve the actual problem, let's create a separate function and we'll call it void. Uh, we'll call it multiples and we're gonna pass integer num and we'll call it num uh, so we're actually passing the number as an argument to the multiples function so to solve the problem we have to actually find the sum of the multiples of 3 and 5 so let's create a variable integer sum to store the sum of the multiples and we'll initialize it to zero so we'll create a for loop integer x equals zero and we're gonna loop thousand times or the number of times that we pass as an argument so we'll say num and x plus plus so, to solve, to approach this problem, we can use modulus. So, if you say if x modulus 3 is equals to 0, that means if the number is a multiple of 3, if it's a multiple of 3, it should give us 0 if we use x modulus 3. So if, it, if this statement is true, we're gonna say sum equals sum plus x. This means we're gonna add the number that is a multiple of 3 to the sum. The next thing that we do is else if x modulus 5 equals 0, we'll say the same thing, sum equals sum plus x. The reason I'm using else if instead of if is there is numbers that are both multiples of 3 and 5, for example 15, and we don't want to store 15 two times, so if 15 is a multiple of 3, we're not going to check 15 as a multiple of 5, we can just skip that step and we'll display our sum and let's call that function in our main so multiples and we'll pass number and let's run this code so as you can see the sum is 233,168 and let's check the answer so as you can see the answer is correct and that's pretty much it thank you very much